Part 7, Emergency Protocols, Winter Storms. Winter storms can range from moderate snowfall to blizzard-like conditions involving wind-driven snow, sleet, and or ice that may last for days if not weeks. Winter storms can cause power outages, school closures, frozen water pipes, and hazardous roadways. The following steps can be taken in preparation and response to severe winter weather. First, stay inside unless you need to leave your location. Know the nearest shelter in case you must leave your home. Check all of your battery-powered equipment, heating, and extra fuel for your vehicle. Make sure to have a carbon monoxide detector, extra food and water. Insulate pipes that may be exposed to the cold. And remove garden hoses from the outside faucets. Maintain fireplaces and space heaters to safeguard against accidental fires or carbon monoxide poisoning. Weather strip windows and doors to help seal out the code. Keep bags of rock salt and sand for use on icy walkways. In sub-zero temperatures, let faucets drip, and if instructed by the water company, be able to shut off the water lines. Do not take unnecessary trips on the road, but when out, dress in layers for warmth and keep the head and mouth covered. Avoid overexertion, such as snow shoveling. This can bring on a heart attack, a major cause of death during winter storms. Keep an emergency kit with blankets and snacks in your car in case you get stuck while driving. Stay in your car. Use your heater for 10 minutes every hour, keeping the window open slightly for ventilation. As snow begins to melt, watch for downed limbs, power lines, and falling ice. Keep an emergency kit in the car, equipped with items such as a folding shovel, jumper cables, ice scraper, cat litter, sand or salt, extra clothes and blankets, flashlight with spare batteries, a first aid kit, signaling device, and games for children. Don't forget, though, to have a few non perishable food items, and water. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to part eight.